If you are a women candidate and looking for a research opportunity, then I have something for you today. Stay tuned till the end of this video to know more about the details. DST has launched a fellowship called as Wise Book Fellowship specifically for women in science and engineering. This program promotes projects related to to issues at grassroots level. The duration for this is three years and the call is open throughout the year. So you can apply any time of the year. In today's video, I am going to discuss about the stipend, the eligibility, the subjects, you what all subjects are there where you can apply under science and engineering. You will also know about the application process on how to apply and where exactly you should submit your application whether it is offline online I will tell you everything about it also what would be the selection process on what parameters would your selection be based all these things would be discussed in today's video moving on to the stipend so the first one is that your salary would be 55,000 per month also you will get an HRA plus apart from these things you will also get a contingency of 2 lakh per year there will be also a different grant which is called as field demonstration grant of 1 lakh rupees per year. If you need any equipment, then those costs also would be covered. The cost would be up to 2 lakh. Okay, so you can buy equipments up to rupees 2 lakh, which are there. Moving on to the subjects, which are the different subjects which are funded by DST for this particular fellowship? Energy, water and waste management, engineering and technology development, environment, climate and sustainable development, agriculture and allied sciences, health, food and nutrition. If your interest falls in any of these, even remotely, then do apply for this because this is a really good fellowship. So what are the qualifications and different eligibility conditions required for you to apply for this? So first things first, you have to be a woman. This fellowship is specifically for women candidates. Secondly, the age limit for this is 27 to 60 years. So if you are within this bracket, you you can very well apply for this fellowship. The third thing is you need to have a PhD. Okay, you need to have a PhD in basic or applied sciences. As long as it is within the context of science and engineering, you are eligible. If you are not having PhD, then something equivalent like MD, MS or MDS with respect to medicine. These degrees are also allowed. You don't need a PhD in these particular degrees. Okay, the proposal is open throughout the year as I've already mentioned. One thing to note over here is if you are in a regular employment, you already have a job, then you are not eligible for this. If you are in any kind of contractual or temporary employment, then you can apply for this. But once your call or your application gets selected, you may have to let go of your contractual employment. Moving on to the application process, what all formalities are required? There is a pro forma, pro forma meaning a document which you have to fill and you cannot do it by self. You need to go to this website called as online DST. The pro forma is over there. Download, fill it and while submitting your application, you have to submit at the same website. So online DST is a platform where you will go through all the formalities. Whatever doubts you have, you can definitely contact over here. So if you have any queries related to your eligibility or related to your application, then this can definitely get solved. I'm saying this because I get a lot of queries related to application process related to eligibility if say suppose somebody is from a private university or autonomous college whether they are eligible or no and different things like that so you can definitely get your queries answered at this email address or you can whatsapp me 